Welcome to my lecture online. On the last video, we found the equation that describes something that's akin to the probability of finding a particle penetrated into what we call a potential step if the energy of the particle is smaller than the energy of the step. And that's found by taking the wave function, the magnitude of the wave function in that region squared. And the equation was found, well, from starting with this wave function right here, and eventually we ended up with the equation right here. We take the magnitude, square it, that was equal to 0.4e to the minus 2 alpha x, where alpha was akin to k2, except since k2 is a, is a, a measure in number, since e is smaller than v sub naught, we want to turn that into a, a positive number, not a positive number, but a, a real number instead of imaginary number. So we have a real decaying function here. And we found a value for alpha, which was equal to this in our previous video as well. So now what we're going to do is get a feel for how big that penetration depth is. To get a comparison to that, the Bohr number here is 53 times 10 to the minus 12 meters, which is 53 picometers, or the diameter of a typical atom, like a hydrogen atom, would be about uh, that would be about uh, 0.1 nanometers or 106 times 10 to the minus 12 meters, 100, 106 picometers for kind of like a typical diameter of a hydrogen atom. Now, let's go ahead and realize that the quantity 2 alpha x for various values of x have already been calculated here to make it a little bit simpler and faster. So 2 alpha x, 2 times alpha, which is this number right here, times x, which we start off with 0. Well, when x is equal to 0, e to the 0 is 1. So the wave function, the magnitude of the wave function squared is equal to 0 0.4, which is equal to the constant, the magnitude of the constant squared in front here. Then if we let x equal 10 times 10 to the minus 12, that would be 10 picometers, which is 1 tenth the diameter of an atom, then we have 2 alpha x to be equal to 0.1374. So what we need to do then is, is take this quantity, put a negative value in front of it, make that the exponent of the number e, and then multiply it times 0.4. So we take 0.1374. We put a negative in front of that, we use that for the exponent, and then we'll multiply that times 0.4, and we get 0.349, essentially. So 0.349. All right, so now that means that the probability of making it that far is fairly high compared to the 0.4 value. So now let's go 10 times as far, 100 times 10 to the minus 12, which is 0.1 nanometers. That's roughly an atom diameter. So we get um, 1.374, put a negative in front of that, make that the exponent, and multiply the times 0.4, and now we're down to 0 0.101, 0 0.101. In other words, we have about a 25% probability for any particle entering the, um, entering the barrier. We can see that uh, there's about a 1 in 4 chance, or 0.1 over 0.4 chance, 25% probability that the particle will get that far, about 1 atom diameter. So now let's go 2 atom diameters, 2.748. Put a negative in front of that, make that the exponent of E, and multiply times 0.4. Now we're down to 0 0.0256. We'll go ahead and write it like that. So now notice there's not as much probability for the particle to make it two atom diameters. And now let's go for five atom diameters. So we have uh, 6.869. Put a negative in front of that, make that the exponent, multiply it times 0.4. And now we have something that's pretty small, 0 0.0004. So you can see that the probability is now almost zero when we get to five atom diameters. In other words, we don't expect the particle to go much further than five atom diameters into the potential step when the potential step has a value that is 10 times the value of the energy of the particle. Of course, the greater that the potential step is relative to the energy of the particle, the less probable it will be that the particle will penetrate any depth, any, any distance into that barrier. And uh, also, conversely, if the energy is almost as big as the potential, then we expect the particle to go a little bit further, obviously. So you can maybe play around with those numbers a little bit, but at least now you can see how to figure out how far into a potential step a particle will go with a certain amount of energy relative to the energy of the step. 
And that's how it's done.